Hello, uh, welcome to the next video on power systems. This is the part 3 video of the performance of transmission line. Hope you have enjoyed the part 1 and part 2 video. If you like this, uh, please press the like button and subscribe my channel. Myself Ganesh from KKWAG Institute of Engineering Education and Research, Nashik. Uh, what are the learning outcomes of today's session? At the end of the session, the learner will be able to apply the concept of performance of transmission line. So let's see which, which concepts we are going to study about the transmission line. The dash dash is the capacity of the transmission line where MVR absorbed is equal to MVR supplied. So when MVAR absorbed, okay, MVR absorbed is equal to MVAR supplied, then it is called as the surge impedance loading. So at the surge impedance loading, you will get this equal. So this is what surge impedance loading. The surge impedance of the transmission line is given by under root L by C. So this is a standardized formula. So actually Z0 is also given by under root L by C. If the resistance and uh, conductance is neglected, otherwise it is given by Z by Y. So both formulas are corrected. In, in this, the resistance and conductance is neglected. Um, how to calculate the propagation constant? Propagation constant may be the gamma may be given as under root LC or it is under root ZY. Both are there. So as the surge impedance reading is unit is ohm because it is in form of impedance. But the, for the uh, gamma, there is this this quantity is a unitless. It is a propagation constant of the transmission line. How will calculate the surge impedance loading? The surge impedance loading uh, to calculate the uh, surge impedance loading, what we have to do SIL. The surge impedance loading is given by line voltage square upon Zc. Keep in mind. So this is a line voltage square, not a phase voltage square. Why we have taken the line voltage square? Because per phase power is equal to Vph square upon Z, uh, Vph square upon Z plus Vph square upon Z. C plus VPH for three phase so VPH square upon ZC so it will give you three VPH square upon ZC but what is the relationship between VPH and VL so it is VL divided by root three square into three so this root three square and three will be get cancelled uh, so this will give you VL square upon ZC uh, so if the VL is in kilo volt then this value kilo mil kilo multiplied by kilo it will give you in the megawatt so surge impedance loading is equal to VL square upon ZC. This is the option B is correct. The surge impedance of the transmission line is in the range of generally for the transmission line it is in the range of 400 to 600 ohm. Okay, so for overhead transmission line, uh, which is not the way of increasing the surge impedance loading. So surge impedance loading, we know that SIL is given as VL square upon ZC. So one of the ways decrease the ZC. Yes, this is the correct way. Uh, decrease the whole voltage level so if you decrease the voltage level so it is not the correct way means we got the answer still we will check adding the series capacitance so if you add the series capacitance in the line so uh, uh, it is under root zc is equal to under root by lc so c is get added so c is get added means c is increases so your zc is got decreasing so this is also way to increase the surge impedance loading increasing in the spacing between the conductor so how to increase in the spacing between the conductor if you increase the spacing between the conductor your inductance value will be get lower as the inductance is lower your uh, inductance is lower and capacitance is increases so what will happen your else uh, your zc value is decreases and surge impedance loading can be increased so only decrease in voltage level is the wrong option increase in the voltage level is the correct option how to determine the complex power actually the complex power is equal to p plus jq if you want to calculate this we have to take the v into i conjugate so we have to take the either v conjugate or I conjugate. So the correct option is the option number B. Uh, the receiving end active power is maximum when. So I will explain this term in the uh, next uh, slide. Okay, so because I have the equations uh, in the next slide. So receiving end power PR is given by how the receiving end power PR is calculated. So let me write down the formula for PR. The formula for PR is equal to mod of Vs into mod of Vr upon mod of B uh, cos of beta minus delta minus uh, mod of A by mod of B. Sorry, it is not. Uh, okay, it is a cos of beta minus delta mod of B is mod of Vr square cos of beta minus alpha. So 
you will here you will get the maximum power when beta is equal to delta so for the pr max uh, for the pr max so in the previous question i asked the question number 8 when is the pr is the max when beta is equal to delta so this is the condition similarly i want to write down the formula for qr the qr formula is equal to mod of vs into mod of vr upon mod of b instead of cos we have to take it as a sin beta minus delta minus mod of a by mod of b mod of vr square sin of beta minus alpha so this is the formula for receiving end reactive not active it is a reactive power okay so this is the way to calculate the active and reactive power when the voltages are given okay so uh, generalized formula sr is equal to mod of vs into mod of vr upon b at an angle of beta minus alpha okay minus mod of a by mod of b mod of a by mod of b mod of vr square at an angle of b sorry here it is beta minus delta here it is beta minus alpha okay so this is so if you take the cos of this then it will give active power if you sign up this then it will give the reactive power the series impedance of the transmission line is 100 ohm and shunt uh, admittance is given is this so this is the value of z and this is the value of i so to calculate the characteristic impedance zc is equal to under root z by y so if you take the under root 100 divided by 6.2.2 10 to minus 4 it will give you the 400 ohm so the correct option is b the series impedance of the transmission line is 100 so this is the z and this is the value of shunt admittance calculate the propagation constant propagation constant gamma is equal to under root z by y so if you take the under root z 100 and y is 0.62 uh, sorry it is a six, not 0.625 it is a 6.25 into 10 to the minus 4 this value will get get as the 0.25 so keep carefully calculate it because many times you forgot to take the root of the equation the surge impedance loading of the 400 kv line um, uh, what is the surge impedance loading for the 400 kv transmission line whose uh, surge impedance is 400 ohm okay the surge impedance of a 400 kv transmission line is 400 ohm then value of sil is to be calculated so sil is equal to vl square upon zc so it is 400 into 400 divided by 400 so it is in megawatt why how it is coming in megawatt because this voltage is in kilo volt this voltage is in kilo so kilo multiplied by kilo is nothing but the mega so you carefully answer this so it is a 400 megawatt okay surge impedance loading of the uh, transmission uh, surge impedance of the transmission line is 420 ohm if the length is doubled what is the surge impedance keep in mind zc is independent of the length sure, uh, there is no effect of the surge imp- impedance on the there is no, uh, there is no effect on the surge impedance due to the length so zc will in, remain as it is 420 here the length is hold then also the your zc will remain 420 in a transmission line v is equal to 220 at an angle of 30 and i is equal to 10 at an angle of minus 30 what is the complex power we know that in three phase the complex power is given by root 3 vi conjugate so this is i conjugate so uh, what is the i i is 10 at an angle of minus 30 so i is given as 10 at an angle of minus 30 so if you want the conjugate of this then we have to make it as a plus 30 so root 3 multiplied by 220 into uh, 220 at an angle of 30 10 at an angle of 30 so it will give you 1905 plus j 3300 so option b is correct in this case the option b is correct in this case so let's uh, see the next uh, mcq the complex power in a three phase transmission line so the complex power is given uh, 200 at an angle of 30 degree mva the system voltage is 100 uh, at an angle of 0 what is the line current so we know that in the three phase it is given by root 3 v into i this is in given in terms of mva okay so i conjugate i conjugate is equal to s divided by root 3 into v so 200 at an angle of 30 root 3 at an angle of so this is the value of i conjugate obviously this is in mega and this is in kilo so the answer is in kilo ampere so it is 1.154 at an angle of minus 30 kilo ampere so the common data for question 18 and 20 so a is given as 0.98 at an angle of 5 b is given as 100 at an angle of 90 the sending end and receiving end voltages are given as 132 and 132 at an angle of 0 so here if you see the this is the value of mod of a this is the value of alpha this is the value of mod of b this is the value of beta this is the value of delta this is the value of vs and this is the value of vr magnitude wise vs and vr are equal so sr is equal to vs in 
to V R upon B at an angle of beta minus delta minus uh, mod of A divided by mod of B V R square beta minus alpha. So if you substitute all this value which are given here, so you will get the S R is equal to so 72.23. Uh, minus j 19.209 mva so this power is the what you are uh, receiving and active power okay so this is in megawatt and this is the what receiving and reactive power it is coming in the minus so it is a capacitive reactive power receiving and power is the maximum when beta is equal to delta so here i am keeping this beta is equal to delta Just keep in mind beta is going not give, going to change because it is a constant because it is the abcd constant so beta is not going to change but what happens this delta can become equal to the beta so that means be a day 90 this will become a 90 so delta can become a 90 degree so beta will never change so uh, vs into vr upon b so delta is equal to beta so that angle is zero a mod of a mod of b vr square beta minus alpha so if you substitute the value but here i am taking the beta is equal to how much beta is equal to 90 degree because beta is not going to change beta is not become to alpha delta is become equal, sorry beta is not equal to delta delta is coming equal to the beta value so keep in mind so it is 90 minus 5 so this is then this is the value of what pr max so receiving end maximum power okay so hope you have enjoyed this session uh, this is the third video which i have recorded on the performance of transmission line if you like it kindly press the subscribe button and please give like to the my channel and spread among your friends thank you